Hi. Today I'd like to talk about silver plate. A number of months ago we bought the entire inventory of a silver dealer who dealt in the finest silver plate. There were quite a few thousand pieces for the last, I don't know how long, we've been inventorying and counting and organizing this, this big group. And I, I really loved doing it because I had forgotten how great some of the silver plate patterns were. Within silver plate, uh, the most popular motif was grapes. And um, in fact, a number of years ago, this book came out and it was called Grape Nuts. It's, it's a clever name because you know people were nuts over these grape motifs. Within Sterling, there were also grape motifs. The first one of any consequence was uh, the Dominic and Hoff grape pattern from 1895. Gorgeous pattern, commercial failure. And another one was New Vintage by Durgan. Again, good looking pattern, 1904, very few sales. And then in 1980, the toll company uh, decided, let's try grapes again in Sterling because of all the success that it had in Silver Plate. Again, commercial failure. I don't know the reason for the failure of the Sterling patterns, but the, the Silver Plate patterns were wildly popular. Uh, the first one of note was Vintage. It came out in 1904 and it was done by the International Silver Company. It was a pleasing motif on top, and then they brought the design into the serving areas. Uh, here's a berry spoon, here's a jelly knife, uh, here's a tomato server. In this book, they talk about the, the line of items that they had in these patterns. Like in the vintage, there were about 60 different serving pieces and about 40 different place pieces. That's a, a really huge number of pieces. My personal favorite came out in 1906 and it was the Moselle pattern. Um, it was by the American Silver Company and I love the handle but what's really special is what they did in the bowls. There's all, it's almost filled with grapes and leaves. Here's a gravy ladle. Here's kind of a rare piece, a cake fork. Here's a jelly knife. And here's one of the pieces they're famous for, their berry spoons. They did these in various sizes, but all of them were gorgeous with the, with the grapes and leaves in the bowl. Of course, when they're success, then there'll be other competitors and Here's a couple of competitors. This is called La, La Vignette, and th this one is La Concorde. There were others also, but if you remember, you know, Vintage and Moselle, the most popular, probably the best efforts. And if you want to collect something, I really suggest probably the Moselle, uh, one of the prettiest patterns. Sterling or silver plate of all time. Uh, it's really great. Thanks.